Hi, it's Margarita from iCanSay.com. In this video I am going to show you a simple trick that helps to make morph animations easy and fast. You don't need any extra plugins, just Adobe After Effects and Adobe Illustrator for preparations. I will show you how to animate morphing a hand into cursor, a man into panda, and there will be a screencast in the end of how to morph a man into Hulk. The secret is to break this difficult morphing process into steps that are actually very simple. So far, instead of making one super complex morph, you can make two simple ones. Now let's see how exactly it can be done. As always, we'll start with preparations. I download the two icons, open the files in Adobe Illustrator, and in the new file I'll create a circle that will be my middle point. Copy the two icons in the new file and create a circle at the area where they overlap. Save it all as separate files in Adobe Illustrator format. I use Ctrl-Shift-S shortcut in order to save the files. And now in After Effects I create a new composition and simply drag and drop the three files right here. Now I select them all, right-click on them and select Create shapes from vector layer and delete the orange Adobe Illustrator files. We don't need them anymore. I'll make the shapes bigger, changing their scale. Now I'm organizing the timing of the animation. The whole transformation is going to take a bit more than one second. So I'm gonna leave for the first morph 14 frames and for the second morph also 14 frames. I'm using shortcuts to cut the footage before this moment of the time and after. Now I will make the circle another color so I can see the goal when animating and now I will start animating. I get to the path editing and leave a few frames in the beginning before the transformation starts. To make the first keyframe just click this little clock here next to the path label and make the last one. To make a new keyframe click this little diamond. Click on the little eye here to make a layer invisible. With the pen tool, I drag points closer to the border of the circle. There is no need to be very accurate here, just get as close to the circle as you feel like. You can also edit the curves of the figure. And then I will go to the second path. I make the initial state keyframe a little bit before the end, then I'm making the keyframe closer to the circle. To start with just one point, sometimes I have to click on it with the pen tool holding shift to deselect it, and then click on it again to select it. And with the pen tool I move the points closer to the borders of the circle, and I will edit the curves. Now I delete the guide circle and make sure that keyframes in the middle of the action stand on the same place on the timeline, and that showing the first figure ends when the second begins. In order to make this animation a little bit more natural, select the last keyframe, right-click on it, and in Keyframe Assistant choose Easy Ease In. Select the very very first keyframe, and in Keyframe Assistant, select Easy Ease Out. Then press space on your keyboard in order to preview your work. 
Now let's see how we can do the same trick to more complex objects. Let's morph a human face into panda. I'll start with the same preparation as before. So I'm taking the tool for creating ellipses and holding Alt and Shift while creating it. So it's getting scaled from the center and it's a circle. Switch the fill and the stroke color by clicking this arrow here. In this case I want the circle to have the same line width as the man and the panda. Expand the figure so you will have a filled path. Save it as separate files in Adobe Illustrator format. I use Ctrl Shift S shortcut in order to save the files. Create a new composition in After Effects. Then drag and drop the three files in After Effects. Select them all, right-click on them, and select Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Delete the orange Adobe Illustrator files, hold Ctrl in order to select multiple files, and adjust the scale of the shapes. Now I'm organizing the timing of the animation. I'll leave 14 frames for one morph, and next 14 frames for the second morph. I'm gonna make this circle another color to guide us, in order to change the color, I select the needed path and click on this watch at the top panel. Put it under the other layers. Then I'm gonna find the right path to animate now. In my case, outlines will go first. Now I get to the path editing and leave a few frames in the beginning before transformation begins. I'm making the first keyframe on the initial state and make the last one. Click on the diamond to create the keyframe. With the pen tool I drag points closer to the border of a circle. And I'm editing the curves of the figure. Now I want to make the man's eyes morph into pandas. For this I'm finding the right paths of his eyes and make the first keyframes of the initial state. Let's for a moment change panda's color and make it overlap with the man at the right moment of the time, just to see what I want the eyes to come to. Double click on the one eye and make it look more like pandas. Press enter when you're finished editing the eye. Do the same with the second eye. Make the first keyframe and edit it in the last one. Now we'll edit the panda. Return it to the right color and length. I'm 
I'll do the outlines first. Find them among the other paths. Make the initial state keyframe a little bit before the end. And make the keyframe closer to the circle. And with the pen tool move the points closer to the circle and if you like edit the curves Now we have to make the nose and the little white circle so the eyes appear. Let's go with the eyes first. I'm finding the right paths and make keyframes in the end. Then I go to the beginning of Panda's transformation and double click on one path and make it very very small so it's invisible. I'm doing the same with the second eye. I'm holding Ctrl to make it scale from the center. Now we'll do this to the nose. I'm making the last keyframe. Go to the first panda's keyframes. And make the nose really thin. And press enter when you're done. Now I delete the guide circle and make sure that keyframes in the middle are overlapping at the timeline. I want to make this animation more natural, so I select all the keyframes in the end of the morph. Right click on them and in Keyframe Assistant I select Easy Ease In. Then I select the very first keyframes and in Keyframe Assistant I select Easy Ease Out and press space on my keyboard to preview the animation. If you want your animation to play backwards too, it's super easy to do. For this select the both layers, right click on them and in the menu select Precompose. Then go to the point where your animation finishes and cut everything after that moment. Then press Ctrl D on your keyboard, right click on one of the layers and in the menu go to Time, Time Reverse Layer and place these layers one after another. Select both of them and make work area to fit the selected pictures. Then press space on your keyboard in order to preview your work. Once you get used to the process, you'll be able to make something really difficult very fast. Just by breaking down the complex morph into simple steps, you can morph completely different shapes, even a man to Hulk.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you an idea of how to simplify complex morphing process. See you in the next lessons. Bye!